Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to discuss about Kotlin DSL and also we will see how we can migrate our Groovy script to Kotlin DSL. Just to give you a quick background, uh, Kotlin DSL has been written on top of Kotlin and therefore it brings a few uh, benefit like it has better compile time checking and ID support and also auto completion work really very well in Kotlin DSL. Now, um, many of you already uh, knowing that uh, starting with Android Studio Giraffe, a new project uses the Kotlin DSL by default for build configuration. So uh, now onward, if you are using Android Studio Giraffe, uh, you will get Kotlin DSL file by default. Now there may be a case that a few people are still using Groovy script and they might be thinking to uh, migrate it to Kotlin DSL. So uh, now we will see how we can migrate our Gradle script to Kotlin DSL. Also before migrating it, I want to uh, let you know that uh, Groovy has a better uh, performance at, as compared to Kotlin DSL. However, uh, Kotlin is the first language for Android. So it is preferable to use Kotlin DSL. But before taking any decision, uh, please consider this uh, point, whether you are okay to compromise with the performance. Okay, so let's jump to migrate our Groovy script to Kotlin DSL. And inside my project, I can see uh, I'm having build.gradle file, uh, project level file, which is Groovy file. And again, build.gradle file, which is module level file. And also we have setting.gradle file. So uh, before migrating, uh, I want to let you know there are certain steps that we need to follow while migration. First thing is we have to rename all this file to build.gradle.kts. And after that, uh, inside the plugins, I can see uh, ID is declared. So whatever is string is there, for example, com.android.application is the string. So if there is any string, that should be inside the double quotes. So we have to replace all the single quotes with double quotes because in Kotlin, when we declare the string, we write that string inside the double quotes. And uh, now, uh, for example, if we are having any properties, for instance, compile SDK is property, namespace is a properties. So this property should be assigned with the help of assignment operator. So we have to use equal to operator for that. Inside your file, if there is any def, uh, like something is mentioned like this def a equal to one for example so uh, you have to change this def to where or either well because kotlin uh, support where or well for variable declaration after that uh, if we go inside the build types there is some different way of uh, using this uh, section so if you see release, you have to define this release inside a get by a name. So for instance, you have to write something like this, get by name, and then you have to pass release like this. Also inside this section, if you are having any uh, Boolean operator, then you have to uh, mention it like is minify enabled. And also you have to use the assignment operator. And also, if you are doing any kind of function call, uh, ensure that you are doing, uh, you are uh, calling that function inside the parenthesis. So I can see here we are doing a function call. So that need to be called inside the parenthesis. So these are the few rules which we have to follow. So I have created one new project. Let me migrate this to Kotlin DSL. So as a first step, uh, I'm uh, refactoring the name of this Groovy file. Build.gradle.ats. And then I have to replace the single quotes with double quotes. Replace all. And then in last step, I have to pass this inside the parenthesis. That is it. Uh, let's press sync now. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, 
I'm going to project level file and I will refactor this to build.gradle.kts. Again, we have to follow the same thing. Uh, we have to change this single quotes to double quotes because we declare a string in double quotes. So single quotes, double quotes, replace all. All of them has been changed. And then we have to pass this inside the parenthesis. So this part is done now. Also, when we are using uh, com.jetbrains.kotlin, com then in that case, simply we can use Kotlin and we can replace all this part to simply Android. There are a few more shorthand plugin ID that we can get on official site. Um, now, as uh, step number two, uh, we have to uh, use the assignment operator for the properties. So I'm doing it in my second step. Inside this section, uh, build types, uh, we have to pass get by name. Get by name. And we have to pass release as a parameter. And also, uh, if there is any Boolean uh, field defined inside this section, then we have to uh, mention the, we have to append that Boolean with is. And as this is a property, we have to use the assignment operator. Also, there was one uh, step where we cannot uh, call the function without parenthesis. So let us add the parenthesis here. Now, again, we have a property. So we have to use the assignment operator. Again, we have to uh, add the parenthesis for uh, items. So let's do it quickly. So now I'm going to setting.gradle file. Uh, and again, I will change this to build.gradle.kts. And again, this is in the single quote. So I will replace this with double quotes along with the parenthesis. That is it.